Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am doing a Funko Pop review on the Olina Tarell Pop, the Summer 2017 Exclusive Limited Edition. Now I picked this up guys at London Film and Comic Con and this was a really good steal. I got it for 17. I think she's exclusive here to HMV in the UK. And we'll take a look at her box while I'm talking. I managed to pick her up for 17, which is a steal. She's a really nice looking pop in a good condition. And as you can see the box, I'm gonna take her out and I'm gonna show you guys the pop in person. I will be displaying this in box so as it is a convention exclusive. But here she is. So guys, here she is out of the box and I really do like this figure. It's really, really detailed. I really like the blue for the do for the headdress. And if you're a big fan of Game of Thrones, you know this character very, very well. They've included the wine glass in her hand for a very certain reason. So spoilers, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones. Obviously she meets her demise when she's offered poison by Jamie Lannister instead of being killed by him in an unsort of dignifying way. And as he is, she's drunk the poison, she tells him that she was the one that poisoned King Joffrey at the royal um, at the royal wedding to Sansa. And um, yeah, Jamie obviously isn't happy about that, but overall she is no longer in Game of Thrones, but she's a really cool exclusive. I wish Game of Thrones had done two this year, but unfortunately not, but we get what we're given. But yeah, she's really nice. We have this nice rose pattern in the middle of her dress there. If you could... We have this nice rose in the middle of her dress there, if you can make that out, and the stress marks under her eyes. It really does represent the character. You'd know who this is if it was in the Game of Thrones collection, with the um, nice glass of wine there. Like I said before, the detailing on here for Lady Tyrell is really, really nice. I like the blue throughout. There's a bit of chips and stuff on mine, different bits of colour variation coming through, but nothing, like, too bad. But, yeah, overall, a really, really nice pop. I do like the colour of her dress, and I like the fact that they've detailedly done one of her uh, fingers on the ring on her finger it's green there that looks really really cool as well and even the blue neckerchief coming through there there's a lot of details gone into this pop and i like the fact that it doesn't have feet it's just the base so it's very easy to stand that won't fall that will never fall over so it's really really nice because normally the lady pops are either in high heels or have really small feet and they tend to fall that's why more of the lady pops come with stands but luckily this one won't be going anywhere or not need a stand so it's a really nice pop and a great addition to my game of thrones collection so let me know in the comments guys if you've got Got this pop or you're planning to pick it up or it's one on your like wanted list um it's a really nice pop and i recommend you get it if you're a fan of game of thrones i will be doing a game of thrones collection video soon i'll have them all displayed out here so you can see what game of thrones pops i have boxed or unboxed i think most of my game of thrones pops are unboxed unless they're exclusives but I'll show you guys soon. So don't forget to hit the like button on this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little short review on this Funko Pop. Um, don't forget to drop me a comment. Like I said, let me know what you think of this pop. Um, hit, follow me on all my social medias. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.